the Emperor has been expecting you. Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and you're very welcome to episode number 54 of the Visions series of live streams where every single episode is sit down with a different member of the One Six Scale collecting community and discuss the past, the present and the future of their collecting journey. The only thing is, way back when, back in the 11th of June 2022, nearly two years ago, I've already done this with this man. So this is not a reissue, this is a 2.0 because this man is the same collector but he's new and he's more improved. Mario, why are you better now at collecting than you were two years ago? You're muted. <laughs> You're still muted. Can he hear me? Never mind. Rookie. You were completely muted. Sorry. I am completely <laughs> muted the entire time, bro. Not just on my hardware, but on the software side as well. Uh, Apparently, good, I'm not man. better. <laughs> I am not better at all. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> that, I, you know, a, a bad what's it? A bad dress rehearsal is a sign of a, a, a good show or something like that. So, uh, how mm. are you doing, man? You good? I'm doing good, man. Doing really good, man. Let me just say that intro music, that victorious intro music, was well welcomed for Darth Brophy. I shall say exactly we, ju just for you well I use it every show but it's more suited to you um, I would just like <laughs> to say as well I don't want to be taking credit for things that's like a copyright free dubstep imperial march the credit for the YouTube channel that makes it is uh, linked as like a permanent um, to, it's it's what you, a, an upload default setting so every time ah. you upload a video or live stream the person's credits there if you want to check out that uh, that person but absolutely how are you doing Doing well, doing well. It's uh, Saturday, man. I'm so looking forward to the weekend, dude. I just after having a an eventful week of a uh, little sleep. <laughs> I was glad to sleep in today a little bit. So, good stuff, yeah, man. Good stuff. Got some uh, after this. Got a little birthday party to go to. Not myself, but my cousin. Happy birthday, Manny. And um, birthday, meeting up with my man Philly uh, Figurecraft, dude. Be meeting up with him later on this afternoon and um, excellent. Hang out for a little bit. Yeah, man. It's gonna be nice. Good. Good stuff. And that's that's the cool thing about. Great. Let me just say about the collecting community man when we find someone who is local right when mm -hmm. we're able to meet and interact man that's just one of the one of the perks like we've always said you know just a live interaction with everybody in person is just it's, it's really cool man it's really cool 100 percent. I, I gotta say um like last year like at star wars celebration meeting all the different collectors and content creators was amazing even now like i've joined the 501st and one of the you've probably mm. seen a six scale padawan or dublin's devil in the chat he's yeah, got yeah. A, a scout trooper uh, uh armor so we join more or less at the same time so and he's a collector as well so it's cool meeting up with people uh kind of in real life i, I would 100 agree so you know what we're, we're gonna we're gonna throw you right in the deep end here we're gonna throw let's you go. right in the deep end okay let's go so how this is going to work is instead of just like doing a half an hour in the past half an hour in the present half an hour in the future and giving everyone the exact same show that we did like nearly two years ago we got yeah. a bunch of different fun questions we're going to ask it we're going to have a chat Ooh. and it'll be loosely scaffolded by that but first of all i gotta put you under pressure i gotta put you under pressure really have you ever heard of the snap game oh god shane you know i hate these snap games bro i'm in the chat watching you guys and there's been a couple of times where i've cursed you <laughs> you yeah. know that bro so do you ever do you ever like wince do you ever look and go oh god no Ugh, yeah dude yeah, yeah man i think you did it recently with star wars and batman I was like, no, no, yeah, oh, no. I'm a bad person. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm a bad person. I'm a bad person. Mm. So last Thursday, I had the pleasure of sitting down and speaking and interviewing. Well, it's more like, felt like more like it was kind of a conversation, but it was definitely some questions in there uh, with uh, Yost, who's an absolute gentleman from uh, yeah. Jazz Inc. Really, Absolutely. really enjoyed it. Uh, great turnout in the chat. People were extremely generous with Super Chats, but they didn't have to do that. Really, really generous. It was just like, for numerous different reasons, it was just a great stream. And he was so uh, forthcoming with different uh, uh, kind of turns. He was talking about ending from like, I don't know, uh, how they make the molds, the inverted molds, mm. or how to, to the business side of things. And I felt almost bad for asking him this question. Who would you dust? <laughs> I think I think I know who you I think I know what you do. <laughs> oh my god. Let me okay, let me just let me just break this down a little bit. First Please of all, do. Adam West, that's my Batman dude. Growing up, not in the sixties, watching the reruns, all right, <laughs> for all y'all out there. 
Okay. You know, trying to pinpoint my age. Um, that's my Batman through and through, man. I grew up with that as, as a child, dude, and you know, have uh, my, my my father and I have a you know good relationship with that particular series. However, when Keaton Batman came out, that was huge, bro, because we haven't seen anything like that, man. The eighty nine Batman was just it was on another level. It caused mass uh, bat mania throughout America, dude. It was mm-hmm. huge. You know, because we've never seen something so dark and so gritty like this. It was just a different version of Batman that no one has ever seen on screen. Right. So that was that was completely amazing. But then later on came Val Kilmer, which I know somebody all out there love him. Me personally, not so much. And then um, and then the Clooney movies came. So I think I think that legacy is kind of tarnished with those with those two movies personally. Mm-hmm. When Batman Begins came out. I fell in love with Batman all, all over again. It was amazing. It was a freaking masterpiece, dude. I love the theme of fear across that mm-hmm. entire movie, man. So the suit, again, I think the suit is probably my, um, the begin suit is my all-time favorite on-screen suit. Mm-hmm. Um, that being said, Dark Knight again, another masterpiece, amazing performance. I can get past the whole the whole voice, <laughs> you know, what he, what he does, even when it rises between him and Bane going back and forth, but... I'm gonna give it to Bale. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep Bale. I'm gonna dust Keaton. Man, that, that, that that's like literally what I do too. But it, it it definitely is not an easy decision. But no, yeah, like gone to my head and I had to do it. Yeah, yeah, and and I feel feel bad because I feel like I'm turning my back on the movie that made me fall in love with movies, and that was '89 Batman. With you movies I mean? in general, wow. Yeah, movies. Yeah, wow, so like that's that was amazing. the one. I remember I remember watching that as a kid, going, I love this. Like I'd seen the. The reruns of the 66 and i like, enjoyed them and you know you, yeah on stage you you'd see batman in like posters or like anything from cups or lunch boxes but then this was like oh this is like serious batman you know when i was a kid like you know i was like mom and dad like this I, I think when i'm older i'll probably still like this but in terms of the the, the movies like as in i'm probably a, a movie fan first like you know as opposed to anything else and yeah i gotta I got give it to dark knight but like it's there are no right answers here. So I think the next one, thanks for ans- answering that. And I think the next one is going to be a bit easier for you mm. if my suspicions are correct. <laughs> oh, 66 all day. Come on. Come on. Look, I love them both. The 89 was amazing when I first saw it. You yeah. know, it's a beautiful design. I've learned to appreciate it more and more. And it's so sleek, man. It's an absolutely gorgeous car. But you put anything against the 66, forget about it. It's not going to, the 66 is just going to hold up over everything. Yeah, you just like this the style more of it, like the it's it's based off the concept Lincoln Futura that came out. You know, it, mm-hmm. we we saw show uh, show models of it before, and what George Barris did to it was absolutely amazing. I love the pinstriping. I love the old school sixty design, um, the rims on this thing. I mean, everything about this thing is, is freaking beautiful. It's exaggerated, of course, being in the sixties and everything. Considering you know the bat radar, you know the antenna, the rockets in the back, the bat computer sitting in the in the trunk. It's freaking awesome. It's so it's so out there, man. That it's just amazing. Mm-hmm. But I love the yeah. glossy black on this car, man. I recently got the Yul's, the the Jazz Ink version in, and absolutely love it. And um, you, know, you you have the eighty nine on order, I'd say. I'd say I do, yeah. Do. yeah, 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 yeah. Did you, did actually, you get a yeah. chance to watch the stream by any chance? Or I think I saw yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually yeah. I was in the chat. I was in the chat yeah. for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I was, at, yeah, I was at work. You know, it's a little bit difficult to. Yeah. To try to oh, watch, of course, but, yeah. of course, of course, of course. You could quit your job, man, and then you could watch all the streams, like you know. So. Uh, I, I, I could, <laughs> I guess I could. Then you won't be able to afford that Jazz Inc. eighty nine or anything else, so that's a problem. Well, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's other ways of making money out there. You yeah, know, throw yeah, my ass out in the course, corner, course, or you know, do whatever yeah, I got to do. I, I, you know? Ian, Ian knows all about it, man. He's in the chat. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you said um, the voice. Yeah, the funny thing is that the voice, um, the. I actually thought he did a great job with the voice in um, Batman Begins. Like the whole swear to me, I know it's like mean, but I thought that was cool, man. He was just like, roaring at the guy. Or um, do you know that scene where uh, Rachel first sees him when she's getting mugged in the the kind of the metro? Yeah, room, like, yeah. Uh-huh. Just there, with, he's talking there, and they have a full blown conversation. It was raspy, and I, I really liked that. And then I thought maybe they gave him a bit too much dialogue, uh, especially it became more obvious in uh, the end of Dark Knight and and Dark Knight Rise, but. But my, my point is that like the way you feel about watching um that voice him and Bane going back and forth I, I reckon that's how uh, people feel myself and Ian start talking it's what are these guys saying uh, turn on the subtitles like 
like what what is what is wrong with these people like but uh i don't know i mean yeah, for me yeah. I, I guess because i grew up in like a different type of community most mostly asian man i'm able to understand like a lot of different types of of english accents. um yeah, 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 of different yeah. accents um we had Ian on last night for LWO, dude. Unfortunately, his power cut out a little bit early, so we didn't have him on for much. He didn't longer, pay the bills, man. It's his own fault. He's been uh, buying that's, that's, cases and <laughs> exactly, man. It's always a blast having him on, though, dude. I mean, yeah, yeah. The, like you said, the accent at first is it's it's off putting, but I mean, you get mm-hmm. to, you get to talk to the man. It's, it gets easier and easier, but both of both course, you guys not a problem, man. Yeah, yeah. He's um, no, he's you know, he's a good one. We. That's just our relationship. We go back and forth. I love it. I love your guys' dynamic, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a good guy. So the last one then, I had to adjust this slightly. So if, let's just say, we, we spoke to to Yost, um, obviously during the week, and he was saying, he, I was very, I love how honest he was. He was saying, I was like, look, man, I know that every day of the week you get a different request for a different vehicle and some like a really, really niche and some are more popular and you got to, pick the thing that people want like but you're passionate about that will you know there'll be enough units that you be profitable and all that kind of stuff like but he um he said straight out he's like yeah to be honest the robocop that's a long shot it's probably not going to happen but my question to you is that let's say he was making the two of them but you could only get one which one would it be bearing in mind that he said he's close he, he's well they're on the right track they're work actively working towards the db5 and if they get it There'll be figures too if they get the. Mm. This is difficult, man. It is. Daniel, it the is, Daniel man. Craig Bond dude made me fall in love with James Bond. I never really cared too much yeah, for the character, man. but not until yeah. he actually hit the screen, I was like, "Holy jeez, these movies are good, man!" Oh you know, yeah, I love, I love them. I love them all. And I actually stayed away from all of them too. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they're good. Did you want a fun fact? <laughs> Go for it. So like. The director of the of uh he, he did five movies obviously and the first one Casino Royale right amazing the Master director Peace. of Casino Royale um he, fact checker is in the chat he's going to tell me anyway I thought I can't remember the name of the the director was it it wasn't Sam Mendes was it anyway Jose's going to check uh, check anyway first yeah give him so give him a few minutes <laughs> he he saw Batman Begins and he was blown away and he went that's how you do a reboot. And apparently mm. that's part of the inspiration he took for rebooting this series. And I was oh, a Bond shit. fan beforehand, but I still maintain Daniel Craig is my favorite Bond. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree with you. So no shit, no Dustin. <laughs> oh my god! Now, if I have to think about it practically, which I'm not really a practical person, uh, the RoboCop car actually calls to me a little bit more, just because. For one thing, I already have the figure, right? Mm-hmm. If I'm if I'm going with a James Bond, I just gotta get the figure, gotta get the car. But how? I think there's too many unknown variables about the DB5. If that how weaponed out it actually is, you know, mm-hmm. how much artillery they plan on putting on this thing, how many gadgets does he plan on, you know, adding on to it? But I appreciate the light up features on the RoboCop car, dude. And I already have, you know, I've already got the figure, you know, mm-hmm. the newer one. I ended up selling uh, the original. But mm. was able to get the other one. This one's did tough. You, did you did you sell the original with the chair? I never had the chair. I got the original diecast uh, one when, when it first you. came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got you. Actually, because I have the battle damage version, so I figured you know I only need one of them. So I get the battle damage and, and sell and sold the the clean one. Thank you, Jose. Um, <laughs> and it was Martin Campbell. I appreciate there that. There you go. You. I'm pretty sure I was wrong about that one. I can a man can only admit when he's wrong. When he's wrong for forgiveness. <laughs> So you're near, you're nearly Shout out there. to Zach. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Ah, Didn't even hey, that. Gosh, I see what you did there. Here all day, folks. Well, for at least the next uh-huh. time. Have, so. yeah, yeah, be sure to tip your waiter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is tough, dude. It really is, man. Because mm-hmm. the DB5 is something that we've never really seen before, and I'm be, I think I'd probably be more excited for the for the idea of it, what what the yeah. potential of it. So I'm just gonna take a gamble, man. I'm gonna dust Robocop. Man, I, I'd be the opposite. I, I dust the DB5, but just because I've been asking you so goddamn much that I can't like turn my back on it now. <laughs> and I know I, I would love to recreate this uh, this post, just have them stepping out. And I think, but it's the style good. of the car too, man. That thing is gorgeous. Mm. I mean, compared to having a police car, cool. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I, I can get this same look right here in a smaller one ten scale Iron Studios. They have a little statue mm. that's basically this this poster right here with the car and everything. Mm. But yeah. to have that. 
DB5. And you know what's interesting? Yeah. It's like when I think of this poster, this poster obviously it has been it's been filterized or whatever, like the, you know, it's been filtered, this stuff there's been sure. probably a post done in it. And it gives the car a more kind of a kind of a slightly blue look, almost like the way his metal, but it's actually kind of a it's kind of a, a dark, it's a black car, really, isn't it? Like the uh yeah. Taurus in it's kinda of like it's right, like a really, right. really dark car, but it, it it's kinda of like a it's a like grey black, you know, from what I remember from the uh uh the movie. But um yeah, it would be, it would be pretty cool though, just to have even if you had like a road like a kind of a platform to sit it on, like a kind of a broken, like a road, just even just like a road marking, and just had him stepping out like that. A few like shell casings, a bit of battle damage on the car. But he um, said he was honest, and he said probably won't be happening. But it's not. Never give up hope. <laughs> but to be fair, like you just said, when you just, when you said Ford Taurus versus Nash and Martin, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, there was that. In on, fairness, dude. look. In fairness, I, I was happy that. Uh, and I know Ian was delighted because Ian was saying, make sure you ask him about the DB5. And then he would text me, make sure you ask him about the DB5. And he'd leave me a voice note. Did I mention to ask Eos about the DB5? <laughs> and it just so happened that, like, in fairness, he was very forthcoming with um, what uh, different things would happen. Mario, before I ask you the next question, I'm just going to address the chat scene as they, uh, they were here. We got 33 people watching live. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, as usual, a pinned comment in the live chat is a link to channel membership. If you want to consider becoming a channel member and supporting the channel that way, greatly appreciate it. We have Phil, who has the blue wrench, behave or he'll, he'll wrench you. Uh, he's a channel member and he's also a panel member on Monday nights on the Hope Show. Thanks very much for being here. We got Low Key Collector Calvin. Thank you for being here. We got another channel member, Mark Mitchell. Thank you for being here. Of course, we got Mario warming up the chat. We got Tragedy uh, Tales, another uh, panel or channel member, should I say? Of course, we got Ian with the wrench, channel member, <laughs> panel member. He's got the wrench as well, and he knows how to use it. We got Jose G Hernandez, the um, the fact checker. He's going to keep us honest here. Thank you very much. We got the movie cannon. Thank you very much for being here. Follow up question in that pineapple pizza? Yes or no? I'm a yes guy. What do you where do you stand on that, Mario? No comment. Well, that's a hard no. I'd say I'd say that's a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> my, my pizza toppings are weird. It's like my go to is like pineapple, pepperoni jalapenos and olives it's weird i don't know that no no that's not weird i mean i think a lot of us in no. southern california would have something like that too me personally i'm a carnivore if y'all can't tell i oh, go yeah? for the meat lovers all day yeah, yeah all day yeah. i'll go for like a meat lover style pizza but also there's a spot where i used to live at uh it's su supposedly some sort of a new york style pizza but they had something that was kind of off menu where they would use alfredo sauce instead of pizza sauce so i'd get right. that with like pepperoni and ham amazing life-changing stuff, mm. Good stuff. <laughs> do you know what though no matter mm. what type of pizza is thrown in front of me i will eat it whether it's whether the toppings are veggie pizza or whether it's a meat lovers pizza or some like i don't know anchovies or whatever I'll, I'll eat it man i just i'm just a big pizza fan just a big pizza fan. nice nice we've got danny spotchka who's also a, a channel member thank you very much for being here mark p is here who else do we have? We got Brad Koski, big fan of Jazz Inc. Thank you very much for being here. Who else do we have in the chat here? Just making sure that we get everyone here. Um, movie can saying he loves the shirt. Thank you very much. We have a two. later two <laughs> seven four five. Thank you. Uh, we got Christian Cooper's here. Um, can't lie, Mario is spot on. Is he talking about the pizza or is he talking about the? What we decided with the oh no no i actually brought him some of that pizza we had a ah. we had a potluck at his house and i actually ordered some of that pizza dude and brought it over there and that's some good shit okay. <laughs> some good shit yeah, bro. yeah we got um tragedy tales has given us a bit of constructive feedback could we please turn dart down he's quite oh. loud compared to you shane back back uh that's probably my fault because backstage he was a little low and i asked him to increase the volume and then we um uh, and, and then it kind of it changed let me know bit. let me know i just go ahead and backed off a little bit cool tragedy you might listen for another like a uh, minute or two if you if you manage and then maybe check in with us and see if we're level yeah. or if someone needs to go up or down appreciate the feedback as well thank you there's no nice way of doing that but i think you did well thank you tragedy tales no let okay. me know first question hmm you were on episode we're at episode 54 of visions you were on episode number two because KG was number one the day before on the 10th of June, 2022. You were on episode two. So, like, what's changed, like, 
in the last two years for you as a collector? Like, can you think of any like highlights that have changed or have you changed your habits or have you sold things or put stuff into storage? Have you got back into lines or dropped out of lines? Because it's a, it's an ever changing dynamic thing collecting. So what's changed? It really is. I think back then, I think I had mentioned that I was more Star Wars focused and the problem is the Mandalorian changed everything. Mm. It's, I've gotten to the realization that there's too much shit coming out. You know, there's, there's other things that I want. Right. And I just, I really just can't stay focused, you know, just on Star Wars in general because it's just absolutely, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, I'm just having a difficult time, you know, keeping up, you know, along with you know, life in general as well. So I think I've re reshifted my focus. I mean, going back to originally was the original trilogy. That was my main focus when I started, you know, when Star Wars came out as far as hot toys are concerned. And that's where I wanted to stay. You know, but I can't, it's, it's so difficult to to deny some of these amazing looking figures that are coming out, you know. And even now, I've always been a huge fan of the clones. The Clone Wars, I absolutely love, love the series. Um, and I love the designs, you know, all the different uh, tactical looking uh, clones and their different paint schemes. And when they started doing clones, I, I lost it. <laughs> and I started, uh, <laughs> I, I would start jumping on those too. So I think... I think I've shifted my focus to original trilogy and clones. Mm -hmm. You know, as my as my primary focus. So that, that's your the, bread and butter, then. That's my bread and butter, right there, man. The clone, the clones and troopers, man. I think I had, I was, I admitted to it, being a big trooper collector last time, but, but I think I have to, if I had to narrow it down even further, the clones are. I think the clones are staying, and I would mm -hmm. probably get rid of the troopers. As blasphemous as that sounds, being an old chief fan. Oh. I know, mm -hmm. dude. I know. I would catch so much flack over that, dude. But I just love the design of the clones. You know, I really Here's do. Here's a question. Yeah. If you're OT and clones, and mm -hmm. if, like, I, I get what you're saying. If push comes to shove, space, and everything, like, you know, and you were to get rid of the troopers, would you keep the original trilogy troopers? Do they fall into the original trilogy bracket, or would you get rid of them, too? I might keep one as a representation, because mm -hmm. I've got like quite the, a few. Would you, would you keep the scout or the shiny, straight-up, normal... Okay, I'd keep two. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking. I was thinking you know no, because... why I said that? Because when I did the live, uh, when I did the live, but I didn't spend enough time on the scout. You're like, show us the scout chain. I was like, Mary, you have the scout. You're like, show us the scout chain. So I, I love was like, the scout, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's why. It's, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Um, uh, like I, I would, I, I, I love troopers, but I, I've said it for a long time. I mean, I think I said it like two years ago. It's like if I had to trim down the collection, unfortunately, the troopers would be the first to go. But like, mm. uh, I would keep the original trilogy troopers, the regular TK and the Scout. And I, I sent a photo of the TK and the Scout to uh, to Keith because uh, like, I have the TK uh, armor and he's got the Scout. I was like, yeah, this this yeah. is us, man. This is us. But, yeah, uh, exactly. Cool. Thanks for thanks for uh, answering that. So the next question. Oh, I'm not done, bro. I'm not. I'm not done. Oh, if sorry, I may, sorry, if, if I may sorry. Continue. I thought you were okay. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I'm gonna sit back. I need to I need to bring this chair back a bit. There we go. Okay. Is Shane in the past. I'm in the ears. past. In the past year, I believe I uh -huh. I started collecting vehicles. Okay. All right. I picked up the I picked up the DeLorean. We we did an unboxing on uh, Breda's channel for LWO. I was struggling with that, you know, because I like to take my time. I was so nervous about the about the tires, you know, with with the whole thing being an issue in the hover conversion. But it's amazing. I absolutely mm -hmm. love this thing. The way that it lights up, the way that it looks, the way that it looks with the figures, it all just comes together, man. Is that adding a vehicle to like a to a pair of figures that already go together, it's really, um, it really just elevates the display. Mm -hmm. But the, but at the same time, it takes up a lot of space. It really mm -hmm. does, man. And then after that, the Jazzing 60 Sinks came in. I absolutely love it. You know, I do have, um, it's, it's not perfect. It really isn't. Um, the price isn't really warranted, in my opinion, for this one. Um, but it's, that doesn't take away the work that they've, put into it man I absolutely love it love the damn car and me being a 66 fan that i am it has to be in the collection dude mm -hmm. got the 89 on order the tumbler Same. will be here the tumbler will be here next week <laughs> and, oh wow i've got the tumbler in the next room but yeah, yeah. Like, bro i mean i i actually had that thing on order once and i canceled it you know just because for financial issues i'll let it go mm -hmm. but That's then it came happen. back yeah, Sometimes and then uh, life gets you. and then another sale came back around, and I was actually able to get it cheaper than I did last time. Well, that's fate, so. Yeah, so it's that's that'll be here next week. Um, so I vehicles, have it in room, but I haven't unboxed it yet because I'm waiting on um, I've got I'm mm. gonna get some module case risers, so I'm gonna use that as that. So, vehicles are one thing. Um, 
I recently ordered myself a Kobe Bryant um, Anna Bay two pack. You know, put that thing together. I love it. It's it's absolutely grown on me, dude. You know, and now I want. I used to love watching the NBA, dude. I mean, I'm I'm more of a late eighty Showtime Lakers. Oh, you know, going frozen. into the nineties. Am I frozen? We good? Hello, Tokyo. And now Shane is frozen. I'm All back right, now. Shane is frozen. I think we've already right, cool. Out. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. We're well, here. We're back. We're back. Enterbay NBA Last figures, man. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Enterbay and the Tumblr. Mm, Enterbay NBA figures, man. I'm. I'm. Uh, I've always been a fan of Showtime Lakers, dude. Growing up here in SoCal, um, along with uh, uh, going into the '90s, you know, the roughness on how everybody played, and um, yeah, I picked up a Kobe Bryant set. Loved it. I already had a Michael Jordan two pack. I've got Shaq. And I went and ordered myself recently, Allen Iverson. So I think, <laughs> I hate that I'm adding more to the collection because at the same time, compared to two years ago, I'm running out of space. Mm -hmm. I'm just so freaking horrible with it, dude. You know, I mean, so not just here. Whole, like new, like basketball athletes line. Mm, pretty much, pretty much. Well, I'm just thinking with the figures that I, were with the, with the players that I personally, you know, like mm -hmm. myself. I'm not going for every single thing. Um... I would say that's basically it. I think it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I think a lot has changed for the past couple of years. A lot of big changes, yeah. A lot of mm -hmm. big changes. And did yeah. you like, uh, I think I've heard you in a few streams where, did you like sell off some endgame figures, but then buy them back cause, or Infinity War or stuff like that? Because you made the mistake of watching the movies again. I did. And you were like, okay, I did. these movies are amazing. And Bro, that I was at a, that happens. I was at a time when I was going to narrow down the collection even more. So, you know what? I think I'm good without these Endgame figures or these Infinity War figures. Mm -hmm. I sold off damn near the entire line. I think, I, no, damn near the entire line. I think all I had left was like an Iron Man and a War Machine. Uh, Malika Mabane, what's up, brother? Um, And then, like you said, I made the mistake of sitting down and watching the movie. Yeah. Watching Infinity War along with Endgame. I'm like, shh, these are like some of the best movies that in the MCU. Mm -hmm. And you know, me being me, I went ahead and hunted down the figures that I sold off again, and yeah, I'm not proud of it. I'm not, but something you had to do. I had to do it. I had to do it. I, I still, I just wanted that representation still in the collection. So, so that actually brings us on to like kind of you might you might have just answered this, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So like, could you tell us about a mistake that you made that maybe if you can think of one? that maybe other collectors can benefit from, maybe especially like new collectors, if any new collectors are watching, any mistakes that you made and what you learned from it? In regards to purchasing or just collecting in general? Collecting in general. Going backwards. Going backwards to try to chase down what we think is a grail because now in these times, I think Hot Toys is not afraid to reissue anything or 2.0 yeah. anything, right? Um, a while ago, a few years ago, so when the, uh, when the BVS line came out, um, I went ahead and got the, what was it? The Nightmare Batman at the time. I think it was a sideshow exclusive and I put a bunch of points towards it. So I ended up getting it for like 150 bucks shipped or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I never had a chance to really display it at the time. I was, I was only three detox in, but with the, with a bunch of other figures where I just had to rotate the displays all the time. But at the time also that figure was going for like 500 bucks on eBay. So I went ahead and capitalized and got rid of it. Mm -hmm. But I did start to regret it a little bit after I sold it because it's something that I never really displayed and I did like the design. It was something that was so unique. Fortunately, that thing was reissued in a two pack with the dark with the black suit Superman. So I was able to get it back. You know? So that's that's that so you bought it with points, capitalized when it at the right sold it at the right time, and then it they two point doted anyway, so you literally exactly. didn't lose anything. Exactly. I mean, look at look at the mark. The Mark Forty Seven, I think, is like the biggest lesson to be learned. Yeah. That yeah. that figure was going for money. I think I think I heard stories about someone actually buying it for like over a thousand dollars, and then like a couple of days later, they ended up announcing the uh, the reissue. And that was a straight reissue to the point where they wrote reissue on the box and on the phone. Exactly everything. I actually capitalized on that one because I've got the the right home Spider Man, which is my favorite Spider Man in the collection. And, yeah. And I wanted, I, I just, the more I looked at the lean look and the gun metal, it just grew in me. And it was $374 mm -hmm. on Sideshow for a, I think a diecast Iron Man, which is nearly unheard of. And I had a bunch of points because at the time I was buying from Sideshow, I think I had damn near 200 points or something like that. So I got that for an absolute steal. Like, yeah. You know, so, 
Yeah, it's it's it, timing is everything, really, isn't it? Like you know, it, so it really is, backwards. man. It's I think buying backwards is yeah. one of those things that I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't do again. Okay, thank you for that. So then, if you're in the chat, it's a dangerous game. It really is. What do you have on pre-order currently? You mentioned the 1989 Jazz Ink Batmobile. What else do yeah. you have on pre-order? Pre-order. Bro, um, what do I have on pre-order? I was actually going through my sideshow orders recently, and I was narrowing it down from twenty. I think I got it down to six <laughs> right now. So, um, but shit, that's right. I got two more figures on another account. I think. Well, anyway, <laughs> uh, I just realized that what I have on pre-order, um, my first artist in Scarlet Witch. I was able to pick that up. It's ah, awesome. You 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 got in the queue and everything worked okay. out. Everything worked out, man. It was no Happy problem days. at all. Congratulations. Uh, Good stuff. Uh, Artisan Jack Sparrow was another one, which was a trip. Um, well, you got that too, yeah? I was I was able to get it because the, the week before, um, when the Ombud Trooper came out, I was a clone. Mm. I hated the fact that they were putting it behind that type of limit, uh, limited availability at the time. Right. I, I was never notified about it. I didn't get an email um, about it. I, I, no, I did get an email about it, but at the same time, it was my fault because I was having a bad day and I was asleep anyway, so I completely missed it. Mm -hmm. But but the fact mm -hmm. is that normally what they normally in sideshows past they give us like about a week heads up, and then they'll put it out, you know. So <clears throat> so for the Jack Sparrows at work, I got a text saying, "Hey, we're gonna put it up in a half hour." Cool. Uh, I went I went and RSVP'd and got in the queue and I was able to get it. So. That's, that and was you, actually you went to that, that's the top tier one because it was three different versions wasn't it you got the, yeah. the top tier top that's tier amazing. top tier Jack Sparrow with the top tier pricing oh my god yeah yeah, yeah true it was, it was, not, like it was not cheap euro more expensive than the the um the kind of deluxe version but look man I get it I get it we're all willing to yeah. push the boat out for those characters that we really like so um that's that's pretty amazing so I'm gonna I've, I do you know what I've got one next question probably requires a little bit of thought so what i'm going to do is i'm going to address the chat really quickly going to go through some basic housekeeping but i'm going to ask you a question give you a little bit of time to think right so this is a fun one this is one of my fun this is one of my favorite i might actually answer this one after you so out of all the figures that either you have on pre-order or that, you know what it doesn't have to be something you pre-order it could be something that you're meaning to pre-order that you haven't pre-ordered yet out of all the figures out there at the moment if you could snap your fingers right the mm. figures that have been announced and you could just like create three have three of those figures appear which three would you want to appear and really quick i'm going to leave it there for a minute and i'm just going to uh, address uh, the chat really quickly and uh, a few different things All right so have a think about that uh, so what do we have we have a welcome to the club man <laughs> So we have Michael, <laughs> Thrawn's office, um, previously known as Michael, uh, has gifted one, one six-figure focus membership, and I've just checked there. That went to the movie cannon. Thank you very much, awesome. Mike. Really appreciate that. That's awesome, and it's it's great that someone as well, the movie cannon. I've got that. I've seen him in a, a few of the chats as well. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, Mike. Hopefully, we'll see you on the Hope Show as well if you're free on Monday. Uh, open invite, of course. Right, so we have um, we are at three thousand two hundred fifty three subscribers. If you were one of those people, massively appreciate it. And if you're watching now and getting any sort of value, getting any sort of entertainment from the uh, the stream, maybe you consider hitting that subscribe button. So we got to shout out the members. They keep the lights on. All the funds go back into the channel one way or another. Whether that's new lighting, new displays, figures, vehicles, whatever. So. The troopers, we got Howard Potts, Kenneth Jacobson, Danny Spotchka. Of course, we have Movie Cannon, who's just been gifted by Mike L. or Tron's office. H. In Silver Fox, who is not only a channel member, a panel member, but he has that, he's got that blue wrench as well. We have Jose G. Hernandez, Brian Wong, The Ben Thomas Show, Eddie Money Mendez, Caffeinated Comic Fan, Jim Collector, Lancelot's Nerd Corner, Mug Wump, Mike L. or Tron's office. And we have Ryan Smith. Now, we also have the Commanders tier, who have their... YouTube handle displayed at the end of all the content like this. New videos on the channel. My thoughts on this 
charming looking Anakin. Um, I sometimes put up thumbnails because my humor is strange and this backfired because no one <laughs> watched that. this because they had no idea what this was about. But uh, <laughs> so my thoughts on uh, Anakin, I got to say this is some of the best sculpted hair I've ever seen. Um, this is like a kind of a case study on my experience to date uh, trying to get a replacement head for my inner Joker. Uh, spoiler alert, <clears throat> it's been sent off to Hong Kong to Lion Rock and they said they're going to sort it. But I'm just going to outline line the process on that and uh, maybe what you would have to deal with if something does go wrong. And in fairness, Lion Rock toys are uh, looking out for me. So careful who you buy from folks. My thoughts on the 1989 Batmobile 2.0, the interview with Yoast. If you have any interest in Jazz Inc., please give this a watch. He's an absolute gentleman. I really enjoyed this particular stream. Just news on everything that happened kind of in the last week. I haven't got a chance to make individual videos, so I made this video and that's up today. And this one is going to be up later on tonight. What I've done is I put together photos that have been sent to me by you know various different collector friends that they've seen basically on... I think it's basically people who have the figure in hand, either sculpted or rooted, and they've taken photos of it and put it on their Instagram. People are just screenshotting and sending me stuff like that. So these are some of the photos that are coming out over the last few days. Hopefully, InArt will drop the um, the official their official blogger images and all that kind of stuff. And I think that pretty much has us up to date. So Mario, sorry, thanks for that. Uh, thanks for the patience. Mm. What three would you want to appear for in front of you now? Dude, it's so difficult to narrow it down, man, because there's so much stuff 100%. out there. I mean, not not just with Hot Toys, but even with Inart, man. Mm -hmm. So let me start there. I'm going to start with Inart. I want Aragorn. If I can snap my fingers right now, I want that, that rooted Great Aragorn. Great yeah, choice. I would love to have that in the collection again. Got, I've got Gandalf. It's an amazing figure, man. It's stunning, dude. They did an amazing job with that piece. I'd say Aragorn. Um, I'm also going to say John Wick, the new one. Yeah, good choice. The new yeah. the yeah. new head sculpt is absolutely amazing. I love the way that they mm -hmm. actually styled, sculpted, and layered the hair the way that they mm -hmm. did. You know, There's two um, hair pieces as well, isn't it? One motion, um, one and one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I believe so. I believe so. That's right. And um, I love everything about that figure. I love the John Wick franchise. I still have the original one, and I I understand maybe you know the likeness isn't there as much. But even still, dude, I mean, the, considering the, the artillery that it comes with, I do not want to get rid of that figure. You absolutely love it. So John Wick, the, the, the new John Wick. My last one, we're going to go ahead and say the um, Kenobi Obi-Wan. Kenobi Obi-Wan. From, from, from the Kenobi show. Yeah. I recently got the Darth Vader in. Yeah. I love it. I heard I you love speaking it. about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's their best one yet, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love I love that particular era of, of Vader, uh, that design in particular. Mm -hmm. It's close to because I love the New Hope era, and that one is close is really close to it. Um, but yeah, the battle damage that they've that they've done with it, just the chest box, the cape is whatever, but the helmet with the exposed head sculpt is is stunning, dude. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. That's you know. the price of mission right there to kind of yeah, absolutely to, yeah yeah yeah. I, I love it's that piece. funny. I I went for. I don't have a Vader in my collection, and the reason, that's a terrible thing to say out loud, but the reason is, I was looking for, I wanted to get like the kind of the best Vader at the time, and I was willing to work backwards a bit, and I kept hearing Rogue One, Rogue One, Rogue One, mm. and <clears throat> this was maybe about two years ago, and I think, okay, if, I, if, I, if I'm patient, given that they did 40th anniversary Vader, is it possible they do 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi, and I said, I'm going to hold out, and I'm glad I did. But in the meantime, I didn't see that Kenobi Vader coming, of course. <laughs> but uh, mm. I, I went for the Kenobi Vader, but I went to the Lux, so it has the clean helmet yeah. as well. Yeah. Because I was thinking I could I could pose it, you know, in two different ways. You know, clean look with Besman Luke, even though like I know like someone who's like <laughs> you, Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know I'd say if you if, if you're like <laughs> if you're kinda no Vader inside out, you'd be like, Oh no, that's not the right one. But I think I'll just see Vader next that to That bothered the hell know? out of me, dude, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't that wouldn't bother me because I Unless someone pointed out all the subtle differences, and yeah, I think ignorance is yeah. bliss. But <laughs> if I had known the Return of the Jedi Vader was coming out, I would mm. have just got the regular Kenobi one because I still think it's stunning. Um, and then got the Return of the Jedi. So they're they're three good picks. I might actually an answer this question myself as well. Um, I got I'm gonna check my my uh, pre order list here. I have it in front of me. So give me mm. a second here. What would I want to appear? Where is this uh, pre-order list? Okay. 
Okay, I'm just seeing one right away. The Bane 2.0. Yeah. Oh. I want that. I want that now. I want that now. See this um, body looks so good, dude. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So that one has funny. I, I've got the John Wick on order as well. Um, okay, 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 okay. I think it would be the Inart Rooted single. See, I went for the. I didn't go for the all in or I don't want the Bruce Wayne. I just wanted the the rooted single. So I think it'd be the Inart Batman yeah. rooted single. Mm, I'm sorry. Then, Every time I hear Inart 22 Batman, I just suddenly. <laughs> Ugh. Please forgive Don't, me. Definitely, definitely do not watch that video later on. It will put you to sleep. Um, the Bane <laughs> 2.0. And then I might say Keaton 89. I think I think that thing there. Mm. Two and the Bane. All DC. Yeah, yeah. I think Keaton 89. Oh, so. Yeah, man. Yeah. I think we're full on nice. DC there. Yeah. Thanks for answering that question. I do appreciate that. So I have one question here. It's like, what do you think of the latest in our Batman photo? So I can just get removed that if you don't want to talk about it. Move on to the <laughs> no, next question. No, 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 it's fine. It's uh, fine. It's fine. Just even in a nutshell, do you think? I, this? Do you have any interest? Do you think it looks good? Yada yada. I think it looks good. Um, I've always that design has actually grown on me. That particular design of the suit. Same. I do. I do like it, man. I, I can't. I can't deny the artistry that they did that they done with that with that figure. Um, both the Bruce Wayne and the Batman, and, and the and the size of the bat signals, incredible. Huge. I love the I, I love that it, it, it's huge. It's got the right uh, tone of a light, and it's also how does yeah. often visit his. I was just there, Ian. I was just there last weekend, bro. <laughs> and um, maybe maybe once a month. Sorry, I got I got sidetracked. Squirrel. No, no, I got it. No, I, I put it up there, so it's all right. No worries. And yeah, um, so I think the, the initial photos when we first saw all of the. The Batman with the Bruce Wayne head sculpt on the assembly line, I, I thought the head looked too small. You know, it was that that angle, that that angle that they, that they that they shot it at. I was like, it, it, I didn't deny the artistry. I thought it looked really good. The likeness, I really wasn't you know too sure about because I don't, I'm not, um, I'm not too familiar with his likeness anyway to actually make any kind of comment. So mm -hmm. but I just thought it looked good. I just thought it looked really damn good. Um, but just the head was just like a little small, a little, a little Beetlejuice syndrome, if you might say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Or if, if someone was wearing um, American football uh, pads yeah, that, and then yeah. not wearing a helmet. I saw that. I thought that was quite funny. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's actually a good, uh, a good, a good comparison. Mm -hmm. um, but then when I saw the, uh, the unboxing video, I was like, holy shit, this is nice. I love the implementation of the magnets in the base. To me right there, I really think that's innovative because no one's actually doing anything like that. Mm -hmm. And that's even if it doesn't work, it's an idea that someone can actually um, jump off of and probably improve that even more, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it's it starts with the implementation and everybody else just improving upon it. So I think that's what spawns innovation right there. Instead of just saying like, oh yeah, the, the paint apps are innovated. No, they're not. They're just improved, in my mm -hmm. opinion, because that's not really changing the game. I you get know? you. Yeah, I agree. So so when when you're actually pushing your industry forward, to me that's that's innovation. Mm -hmm. So what they do with the base, I really. You know that's that's my idea of it, um, but overall, it's it's a cool package, man. It's a, it's a really good set. Um, I was talking to Calvin last night, and you know, <laughs> I low key won it just because of the fact that when I did start collecting Batman back in the day, I I kind of told myself I would like one representation of every Batman actor on the shelf. Oh well, well then you have to get it. <laughs> I don't need to anymore. Have you, have you got the camera? <laughs> I don't, man. I I don't. Okay. I don't. Okay. I don't like that particular suit, you know. Yeah. So I, I, I think I went in and changed my mind because I had the time when I sold out the Batman Returns two pack is when I made up my mind saying I'm not going to do it. I had that Bruce Wayne and that and that Batman Returns Batman sold out. Oh, off. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. decided that wasn't a direction you're going to. Yeah, because I, I was good with the '89. The '89 suit is still is one that I like a lot, you know. And then I got a chance to get the uh, the the reissue for the Hot Toys uh, for the Begin suit. Which is all stock, by the way. When I showed you that video, you thought it was actually modified. Nah, that's yeah. all stock. I was able yeah. to. Uh, I gotta get the say, looking whatever down. way you posed it, you you worked. You hats off, man. Hats <laughs> it's off. the camera angles too, yeah. bro. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but th this yeah. is it. But this isn't this kind of ties in with what we're talking about, the Robert Pattinson Batman. Mm. Like, cause um, those first images that were say, uh, that announcement post from a week and a half ago. I found him very underwhelming and I, the yeah. same thing I was like, his head looks a little small and then the hair, even though it's supposed to be messy, it kind of looked bigger and this impression, mm -hmm. this all looked weird. And I was like, okay, if this is the figure, these are just terrible photos. And I was kind of going, I will reserve my judgment until 
I get more data. The official blogger photos, few reviews from Instagram sure. posts and everything. And whenever sure. we're starting to see them, and I'm like, for me, they're four for four. I mean, have they released a, an absolute a, a miss? Have they had a miss yet? I think some would say other uh, things are a miss just because they don't know how to treat something properly. Like I would say it's right. the Gandalf caught some flack just because people don't know how to style their hair. Mm-hmm. I know that there are some collectors out there. Not that everyone's are, a beard guru like you, man. Come on. Well, I mean, come on. Not, yeah, not, 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 everybody, not everybody. Not everybody <laughs> can be, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, I love that. I, I know some people are having issues with the base. You know, I mean, everybody has a bad day in the office. I have problems with my Joker base. That thing just likes to take a tumble sometimes. Mm-hmm. You know, but <clears throat> I can't. I can't judge the base alone. Um, I can't take any points away, you know, for the figure as a whole because of the base. The artistry yeah, is just too amazing. I get you. you know what they've done. Um, but I would, I would, I think I would tend to agree with you. Four for four. They're, they're doing yeah, an amazing I, I, job. I and as a new company, yeah. I love how they're really, they really put themselves out there and just being transparent with us. You know, they're they're listening to us. They're taking our feedback. You know, with damn near everything. You know, so I really appreciate a company that actually does that. Yeah, it's kind of like, like I saw the new magnet thing and I thought through two <clears> things. <throat> Number one, they heard us and they're like, mm. okay, this wasn't, the, the, the strip, the non-movable strip, one magnet, not working, fine. Okay, we're going to improve it. It only works in certain cases, just like you're saying. So I heard, right, they're actually taking the feedback on board and they're trying to do something different. Now, I did say, why don't you just put a round magnet underneath that, a thin round yeah. magnet, call it a day. But I don't know, may, maybe, is that too much magnet? Maybe they tested that and it just drags everything down? I, I, I don't know. Like That's what I was wondering too, but so, I was yeah. actually talking to somebody about that. And they said that there's another, someone else had went ahead and, and done that. They had taken uh, a magnet and just <clears throat> implemented across the entire base mm. and no problems. It worked yeah. perfectly as we would think. Maybe that's what they need to start doing. Man. I don't know. So, yeah. a few uh, chats here. So, Christian Cooper saying, Shane, are you getting the 501st? I'm not getting the 501st, uh, Chloe. I Cooper, am. But <laughs> I have a man here who is getting probably several of them. Are you going one or are you still ruling I'm two, only right? going one. Here's the thing. I play the long game when it comes to army building because as they come out, that's just one more for the army. Mm-hmm. Un- unless it has multiple helmets, then I will probably get one per helmet, which I've done with the 501st. Rex, I got one displayed. I got one displayed with the three thirty second. Got one displayed as, as a five hundred first, phase one and phase two. I did that. Cool. Yeah, that makes sense. And we got a uh, Jose saying, "Ask Mary who kept him up when he was watching that movie every five minutes." Was this uh, <laughs> through the Batman or I think it was, was it Calvin? Keep, it was, was watching Cal- Calvin? Calvin yelling at my ass across the room to wake my ass up. You know, no, Jose what woke too. you up? What woke you up was that Batmobile. You, I remember hearing you say that in a stream. It did. It did. Yeah, yeah. It did. Because he turned the, he turned up the sound on that, but. Jose was next to me, like, mm, wake, like, wake up, nudging me, nudging me, wake <laughs> up. So, but yeah. good stuff. That's a sign <clears throat> of a true, true friend, man. At the yeah, office, awesome. uh, or uh, Michael just basically saying Mario rules. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We know, man. We know. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Dude. We do appreciate that. Um, so, next one, I'm picking a nice question. Now, what do we got? Do you, do you have like, we all have things on our list that we haven't just pulled the trigger on yet in terms of pre ordering or buying. Do you, do you have things on your wish list that you're like, I really want this, but for whatever reason I haven't added, you know, put on a pre-order, or put. Oh yes, oh yes, oh just yes. Throw out a few. What are you? What are your kind of? What's in that zone? Like from from my, I'll give you an example. One of mine is, um, uh, I've got a price for the uh, predator, the prey predator from Line Rock, and I have a price. I just haven't slapped down the NRD yet. So that's one just off the top of my head. So what's on the wish list? You know, I can't think off the top of my head, but I will just say that. There is this app that I started using. Uh, what's it called? I want six scale vault or something like that. <clears throat> I think Joao had a developer on a show, and they were talking about it. So I've been actually using this to, to keep an eye on my wish list. <laughs> you know, stuff that I want in here. Good stuff. So one one thing that I haven't ordered yet that I do need to get on is the Iron Man Mark II, that new yeah. Iron Man with 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 all those beautiful looking paint apps. Yeah, Chrome yeah. piece. You know, the panels. All the I gotta get pieces. On, I gotta get on that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The you uh, had the Hall of Armor. Do you have all the other ones? I've got them all. So you've got, got like all, one through. I've three got one seven. through seven. One through seven on wow. diecast. Yeah. And a, and, a, and a Hall of Armor for each of them. Uh, for each and every one of them. Wow. And uh, yeah. are, they, are they displayed or? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, not yet. Well, I, I want to see yet. a video on that when you do it. Uh, soon, actually, soon. I'm in the, I'm in the, I told you before, I'm in the process of apartment hunting, so that will happen soon. 
Excellent. And so the next time I actually get the display up in the new place, I will reshuffle, but I do need to shoot a collection tour, so I will get that up sometime. You, you know, heard before it here I break, first, Before folks. I break all this down, a collection tour will be coming. I've been saying that for many years, and I, <laughs> I have to do it this time for sure. Um, Sasha Koyo Supergirl from yeah. The Flash. Flash. That's one right now that I need to get on. I love, I love the design of that suit. Um, and I just love the character in general. You know, I thought I thought she was amazing in Supergirl. Um, so what am I naming off three? Yeah, or well, whatever, whatever you, three, how many you want. Tech from the Bad Batch, guys. These last two Bad Batch releases have been uh, in short supply. Crosshair has gone up like crazy. Record that came out is also starting to go up. If anyone's interested, I would, I would highly consider getting on Tech right now when it's still available. I got to do that, actually. <laughs> so. And do you have Crosshair? Right there. <laughs> yes, I do. Ah, Shout right out to my man Ray, Hogwarts Toys, for hooking that up, man. Good stuff. So, put That's it in actually a good pile. question. I, I, mm. it, it, when, you're, when you're finished this one, I'm going to ask you, who's your go-to retailer, or do you have a go-to retailer? Or... Oh, yeah. Uh, Hogwarts Toys all day. Ray is That's a genuine a, yeah. dude, man. He's... He, he streams with us now on Monday nights on Profi Chats, dude. You know, he just wants to come hang yeah, out I, and just... I watch him on... I watch you on Tuesdays yeah. because it's too late for me to stay up and then I, I, of I course. listen to you in the car and, uh, yeah, he seems like an absolute gent. Yeah, no, Ray, he, Ray's an amazing person. I mean, not just not just from that. I mean, he actually looks out for everybody who's out there, you know, within the collecting community. So, when I first met him, he reached out to me and we made a deal on a figure and while I wasn't really having the biggest issue with something that was cosmetic... He was nice enough to offer an exchange and just wow, send back the one stuff. that was like less problematic Brilliant. you know and he's so he's a great he's a great guy it. to deal with man yeah he really does so i appreciate that level of customer service from him now i know sometimes he may not offer the best deals on everything i mean sometimes the market dictates prices and all that and it is what it is but if you guys are looking for a minute for anything that's just either on pre-order if you're looking to pre-order from him hit him up good guy man excellent stuff so you heard it for, i've heard nothing <laughs> But good things about boat rays, the uh, Hogwarts toys mm. and underground figures. Well, I've never yeah. purchased from underground them too. Stateside, but I've heard great things about them. Yeah, Ray <laughs> from Underground. Uh, um, I actually heard from the Cisco Scavengers back in the day. Ah, and yeah. I, I ordered. I ordered from him. I've had stuff on order from him for like a year and a half. You know, before, and he's great. Yeah. He's great to deal with too, man. Be great communication. Um, he works with you for whatever you need. Um, if, if there's like an issue, you know, financially, I know some of us, mm-hmm. you know, may not be able to make payments when we need to or pay for something when we need to. He's Sometimes easy to work that with. engine light in your car comes on <sighs> just mm-hmm. when you least expect it. Exactly, man. Or yeah, yeah, our flat yeah. tire comes up. <laughs> yeah, <and> then, <laughs> you never yeah. know what happens with life, dude. Yeah. Or sometimes your electricity yeah. gets turned off. <laughs> you take it, Poor Ian. You know? Poor Ian. Yeah, now exactly. Like, you know. You know, probably just like surviving on on bread and water, like you know, and can't cook and yeah, stuff man, like that, so. ramen noodles and everything, right? So. This is it. This is it. <laughs> it happens. Okay, how many figures are you at? Do you have any idea? Do you have a rough? No idea. A rough rough estimate, at least over two hundred, maybe wow. pushing two fifty ish or so. And how many on display? Is there a split between display and storage? About a hundred or so, maybe less than a hundred. Hundred each, so hundred display, hundred storage. Something like that. Let me. God, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all anyway. Please do, please. I'm gonna put you full screen. I want to see this. I want to see this. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll just. Uh, just just right, to give well, you people in the people in the chat there. Maybe like, uh, are you a new collector? Do you have one figure, or are you a veteran and you have like 200 figures? Give us a number in the chat there, if you if you, if you're comfortable sharing. I think I'm at about 50, low 50s. I was in my storage unit last Saturday, bro, and snap this i'm like shit that just wow my yeah God. What every time i tell see you storage to? units i think of breaking bad because we store we, we have storage mm-hmm. units in Ireland, but they're not as popular but i just think of breaking bad and the stack of money and stuff wow look at that yeah so that's, that's about insane and boxes probably more more and i've got boxes steering i have boxes behind me as well so man, it's that is that yeah. is a, a true veteran yeah. of the game man yeah <laughs> it's yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah. Good stuff, but uh, no, that's cool. I look, it's I get it as well. It's like some figures, like you just you, like I'm, we're all space is the enemy. Doesn't matter. It like, really is. If 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 chances are, if you're in this hobby, 
you've got somewhat of a decent job where you're getting somewhat of a decent income and you can afford to spend some discretionary money. You're only like two weeks away, maybe a month away from your next paycheck. Mm. But space, that's just finite unless you move to a bigger place and not many people are just going to move to a bigger place. Like if you're in your, especially no. if you're in your forever home, you know? Yeah, but, exactly. Um, I'm going to start rotating for sure if I want to keep one figure per shelf or just get yeah. creative with, like, with yeah, two. You have to. I get it. It's fine. Like, um, and, you know, I'll try things out. Sometimes two figures, like, okay, like C3PO and R2D2, are you really going to have them in a separate shelf? No way. They have to no. be together. Do you know what I mean? They have to be together. So, um, yeah, the um, space is the enemy. You um, have a bunch of vehicles. Well, you well, you have the 66. You, you got, you got the tumbler on the way you've got you know, jazz inc 89 on the way and and what was the other one you said the, the delorean mark ii right down here delorean mark ii and then do you have any like a smaller scale vehicles like bat pods I do. surely you have speeder bikes and stuff what you got yeah i've got a speeder bike from the mandalorian I've got a speeder bike from return to jedi i've got the darth maul blood fin back there um I've, what else i've got i've got um the bat pod i've got that also love the bat pod um love the bat pod anything else anything else a couple i got uh two bark speeders <laughs> one for two bark each, speeders two bark speeders i wanted the clones i uh each clone each bark speeder came with a different clone man you know commander no, Oppo I get and, that. Um, yeah. and the heavy artillery well, one of those clones um he came with this like he had kind of like a a side satchel yeah actually he's right he here only yeah the heavy, you could only heavy artillery him. right there yeah. he's right up there dude Can I see so. which where you point them where is he? You can see the satchel right, right oh, there. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that was yeah. just a cool touch. Like I knew nothing about yeah. the character really, but and that was behind the paywall of you had to get the vehicle as well. Exactly. Yeah. I hate that. Mm -hmm. I hate that, dude. And also the ATRT is another one. I gotta mm -hmm. get that damn thing just for the clones. <laughs> so. But then in other releases, they've kind of learned because I, I'd like that. Um, that is it, a Sand Trooper Commander or something? The one with the with the. The one with the dewback, do back, but then they yes. did that separately as well, and they did the they do back did. separately. So you've they you did. Buy together, you got the option. The I love that. that yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. But even like inevitably even, something's going to sit. But. Exactly. But even even the fact that they're doing that, I still want to get the, the set together. You might as well. Yeah, of course. You know. Yeah, it probably works out a little bit cheaper. Possibly does it or yeah, it usually it does. Yeah, maybe it usually does. Cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. So any other vehicles besides the eighty nine that you have your eye on or you're hoping? someone will make i don't have any i don't have my eye on anything in particular that's already out there but ever since i was a kid i've always loved the knight rider kit mm -hmm. you know and um when i heard yo kind of thinking about that put it in the works it's i'm intrigued but i don't know if i'd actually do it the, the so, dv5 you're talking about or no, the uh, Knight Rider kit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, the, yeah. He seems pretty serious about that. He does. He does. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always liked the the sensor in the front, that little back and forth. Goes back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I've always loved that, you know, since I was a kid. But to be honest, anything else that's out there, no. Uh -uh. I really don't have my eye, eye on, on anything out there at all. I've always liked that's the, uh, I've always loved the Ecto-1, but that is just no. I, I want when 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 I got a vehicle that takes up the size of a freaking bed, <laughs> that's just no. I can't. I'd rather I'd rather put that towards a statue that I really like, you know. <clears throat> so, but I can't I can't I, I can't do that because I'm a, I don't have any of the figures either. So, <laughs> so yeah. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have. Uh, Mike here. Yes, I thought I could live with one bark, but no, I caved and bought a second. Troopers are a second one narcotic. I cannot mm -hmm. wait until uh, Mike gets all his uh, his setup uh, ready to go, because that's going to be some some collection tour if you ever if you ever do it, Mike. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. That. We got uh, Hoonigan in here saying two of my favorite content creators. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh! Really Thank you, man. That. And we got Clinton Martin. Howdy, folks. How are you, Clinton Martin? Hey. I hope you are good no matter where you are watching. Thank you. All right. So, oh, I love this question. What are some of the most hyped releases and announcements within the last year for you? So, over the last year, in terms Ooh. of whether it's announcements are not out yet or releases that have been dropped, like, but like, 
what did you absolutely lose your mind about? Releases, you said? Like anything that's actually released? Anything. Uh, announcements or releases? What, the, what, announcements what, what, or what, releases. what got you hyped? Um, the NR Aragorn. When I saw the improvements on that, I think that I think that's done the community when we actually saw the updated prototype for that thing. I agree. You know, I'm a, I would say I'm a casual Lord of the Rings fans, mm -hmm. but I love the artistry, what they did with that thing. I think that's, um, they've literally shrink rate that man. You know, Viggo Mortensen, they've, they, they took him and literally just shrunk him down it to six scale. It looks amazing. Literally the most stunning one six scale prototype yeah, I've ever seen. Absolutely. And I'm saying prototype, I know it's a prototype, <clears throat> but still if mm -hmm. I compare it to any other prototype I've ever seen, that is the most stunning prototype I've ever seen. Absolutely, man. Uh, as far as releases go, man, I love this Vader. I really do the Obi Wan Vader. I Shout knew out to you Benjamin were Green. That. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, yeah, that's that's Vader's my guy, dude. I'm a, I'm a Vader guy through and through. Was was uh Benjamin E Green on? Was was he on um, LWO last night, or did I see him in a stream recently? No, that was uh that was Commander Green. Commander Green. Sorry, Commander Green. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, that was yeah, Commander yeah, Green. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, yeah, gotcha. yeah, we actually had him on last night. That was so cool. And you had Ian as well. Ian, of course. And was Ian <laughs> on the beer? Unfortunately, he was sober, <laughs> and oh. then his lights went out. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. See, this is bad luck. It's bad luck. Yeah, exactly. How about man. Eddie? Was Eddie on the beer? They were both sober. Oh, we had okay. we had a show we had a sober show last time. We actually discussed a lot of hot toys news, man, and collecting in general. Gotcha. We put With the, the food real aside. Real stuff. Real uh, pretty pretty much, I would say so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, I've watched I've watched part of it uh, uh, earlier on, but then I had to go for a run. But I'm gonna, gonna yeah yeah yeah. Well. yeah 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 yeah. Uh, those damn streams, man. Two and a half hours minimum, it seems. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Christian was like, "No, no, let's go more." I'm like, "Bro, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm done. Mm -hmm. I'm done." I'm done Cooked. for the night. So what else uh, kind of got you? Ah, oh, man. The Aragorn, the Vader. Um, oh, God. I'm going to take it out of 1.6 for a minute. Okay. Yesterday. Can I show you something? Yeah, of course. Can I show you something? Yeah. So you yesterday on Miguel's show. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to share a photo with you. Cool. Um, I'll actually bring it up. This is a statue. It, it, it is a statue. You said Miguel, it has to be a statue. Uh, yeah, yeah. We were, we were talking with the owner of uh, PCS yesterday. They, they, they've been doing a lot of cool stuff recently, man. And one of the things that was actually revealed last night was something pretty freaking sweet, man. So let me go ahead and just bring this up if you don't mind. If you can share my screen. Yeah. I think that'd be pretty cool. So here we have a manhole. Yeah, gotcha. sure. Brilliant, right? But what's in that manhole is this. Now, this is not this is not a poster. This is an actual rendering of a one-to-one -one manhole with the turtles inside of it, with the 90s turtles. No way. So this like, this is be like on the ground thing. or something? Or yep, this will be on the Whoa. ground. This is That's something that they're cool. actually making. I saw this. I was like, yeah. holy shit, no way. It's not something that I'd want to get personally but i just think yeah. it's one of the it's one of the coolest things man so what's the diameter in that manhole it'd probably be like the size of an actual manhole like within a meter or well a few feet three feet, four few, feet yeah it's probably about i think calvin had mentioned it like 47 inches which is about three and a half feet maybe damn near yeah mm -hmm. about that so yeah damn near four feet i believe so like if someone had like a huge like basement collecting room with like you know like <clears> yeah uh, module cases or, or display cases around the diameter and then like some pedestals just in the middle of the ground they could just have this like boom Would exactly you put it on the ground? is that how it's meant to be displayed or uh, it probably um, makes sense. no I, I think like what you said is just put it on a pedestal but i mean sure yeah, yeah. i think i think someone mentioned to eddie like we just put it in the bathroom so every time you take a shit they're, <laughs> they're just they're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be pretty creepy. But yeah, that, that's a such, little bit. I, I, that, that's such an Eddie thing to say. Yeah, yeah that's funny. All right. Shout out to Eddie. But, Eddie hasn't been. Um, we didn't do the Hope Show last Monday, and he, he couldn't join us then the Monday before. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I miss Eddie. I love streaming Eddie. So hopefully, yeah, he's, he's so he much fun, dude. To, yeah, yeah. yeah, he tells it like it is. As well, and that's pretty cool. That's something very different as well. So that's yeah, in the statue community, man. I think PCS is doing some really cool shit, dude. They're showing. I'm a Transformers Generation 1 guy, dude. I love the G1 Transformers, yep. dude. And they recently yep. showed a Devastator. That looks mm -hmm. incredible, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think Ant Adams is really doing 
doing some cool stuff, man. You know, mm-hmm. out there. And PCS, I think I heard you speaking about them before. I definitely heard you speaking about them before. But did they? Oh, do we? Do we do a Robocop segment down there every Monday third, night with them? <laughs> third scale, Robocop third Quarter scale, scale no, third scale, quarter yeah. Scale. Gotcha. Quarter scale, and the third. Day, sc- did they release the, the Robocop uh, quarter scale? Mm, not yet. No. Scale? I thought it was a third scale. I think it's a third scale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's right. It's, they, it's, they, I saw it at San Diego, man. I think it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I remember you talking about yeah. Daniel. Any interest in that one, or is it like? I'd say oh, it's, God. Uh, I can't. Serious. I can't, dude. That's that's too much. I can't dwell in the statues as much as I want to, just because of the space. You saw my storage unit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. I did. I did. You know what I mean? Did, so did, yeah. I am extremely selective when it yeah. comes to my statues. Yeah, I hope you but, get like a a really really good like apartment that uh kind of meets your collecting needs, so you could expand the empire. I hope so. Yeah, I hope so, man. But at the same that, time, so. now, on, I'm yeah, sorry. Go. I'm sorry. Just real no, quick, no, and just. And also uh, mentioned that they got the Star Wars license. All oh, right. He's the doing some one third stuff, PCS, and that's yeah, that's gonna. I can't wait for San Diego. I can't wait to see him in San Diego this year, mm-hmm. man. So let's just say that. That's over the summer, isn't it? That's over the summer in June, in July, in July. Yeah. Good stuff. And uh, you sure that's only probably up the road for you? Is there? are you close to? Uh it's about probably about an hour and a half from me. The last oh, last year I took a train ride, so about a, about an yeah. hour away. Not too bad. Oh, no. that's good. I, I like traveling by train. No traffic. Or yeah, it's nice. It's, it's nice. Yeah. You don't have to drive. Yeah. I'm just going to address some of these chats. We got <clears throat> Benjamin E. Green saying, yeah, no worries. Um, thanks very much for being here. Do appreciate it. We got Red Wolf says, uh, My just man. finishing up the great interview with Yoast. Bravo, Shane. I really appreciate that. Thanks very much for watching. Um, What's he's up, an Ian? easy guest. He's an easy guest to talk to. Like he, you just ask him a question. He, he, he gives you like, there's nothing worse than like, if you're talking to someone, you ask them a question, and you want them to talk. You want them to explain. They just go, <laughs> "Yes, right." Hey. And we go from here. But he, I'm gonna start doing that now, dude, for the rest of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have time for tonight, folks. We'll see. But, um, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, he he just um he just prov- he just he speaks really well. He's articulate, and he just he speaks very passionately about the different things, whether it's the business side or it's like how the company started or the future and. He's, he's an easy guest for, to have, and I really do appreciate you watching. Thanks, so, um, <clears throat> and Jose G. Hernandez wanted to, he wants you to go six hours at the last time, so this will be question determining that uh, we uh, we improve. So Thrawn, very impressed by that uh, Turtles uh, yeah. man, manhole cover. Same with the movie canon. Yo. And PCS, they're awesome. They have their last Ronin, and that TMNT poster statue would be sick. Have you seen Great that last Ronin piece? I have not. I have not. Do you have it there if you want to share it? Uh, I can bring it up. P Rock actually has it in the collection, but I can go ahead and bring it yeah, up. Definitely do. Um, Great stream. Have to step out. We're watching the replay. Thanks, Movie Can. I do appreciate you uh, checking in. Thank you. Dave, how are you? We got a channel member here. And of course, uh, Movie Can got gifted a channel membership through uh, Mike L. and <clears> Tron's <throat> office. Dave, you are right on time. You're like a wizard. You're like Gandalf. He always, uh, he's never late. He always arrives precisely when he meets it. And we got uh-huh. awesome live stream with Yoast. Thank you. I do appreciate that. There's that a lot awesome. of positive feedback from that. You got that? Or? I got it right here. So here we so go. This, this is, is a core skill piece. Oh, wow. All right. Gotcha. And yeah. is it like, so this is uh i'm not familiar obviously it's a version of tmnt but i'm not really familiar is this based on a comic or is it based on a tv show or this is an actual thing? comic so so basically what happens is that <clears throat> the turtles get into it and everybody dies except for one of them so these are the ghosts of everybody else and this is the only survival which turned out to be somebody i don't know if you mm-hmm. if you don't mind me saying who it is or not but um but yeah no that's no, okay i don't mind unless maybe people in the chat might i don't know yeah. If you have an objection in 30 seconds, he won't say it. Yeah, 30 more. seconds. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can last so long. Yeah. It's Michelangelo. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. And come here. Is this like, you know the way, uh, like I remember watching them as a kid and they had the different color bandanas, but originally they started off, did they all have the same color bandanas? They all had red bandanas, man. Yeah, right. That was the original see, intent. See. I, I yeah. think they changed the different colors. Along with the initials on their belt, which is so corny, but just because when they started doing the, the animated series, the cartoons back mm-hmm. in the day, I gotcha. you know, so they actually tell, hey, who's who, you know, besides the personality, mm-hmm. another visual way to tell them apart is from there. And did they originate in a comic book? They did. 
They did. I did not. I did the not comic, really knows that. Yeah. Bro, you got to read the first comic. It's it's mm -hmm. dark, gritty. It's amazing, dude. It's basically mm -hmm. what the night the first nineties movies was was really heavily inspired from the comics. Mm -hmm. That whole story. Yeah. The um, is it the which one was called Secret of the Use? Is that it was one or two? That was the second one. That was the first movie I ever saw in the cinema. <laughs> Yeah. ever yeah. ever yeah, really yeah. wow ever, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh first one ever like like the first movie I ever like fell in love with was Batman 89 and I never yeah. got to see it in the cinema until last year here in in, in, a, in Dublin for Batman Day they played uh, they had The Dark Knight uh, but I'd already seen The Dark Knight trilogy multiple times in the cinema they were showing Joker but I'd already seen that in the cinema and they had Batman 89 I'd never as much as I'd seen that movie since it was like six I'd never seen it on the big screen and I got to see it there in October or whatever it was that's so amazing dude yeah, alright really, oh, really that's good it just went off my own got a load of popcorn and crap and I was like you don't really jealous dude my, yeah, yeah. my younger brother dude right so we went out one day we, we decided to go to the movies <clears throat> to go see The Godfather oh, yeah. he's never seen it before his first time seeing it was actually in the movies I'm like I hate Very you so much true. right now Very but true. and after he saw it it just seems like everything, all the references of pop culture just clicked, <laughs> you know, because there was, yeah, there's so many yeah, references in yeah. that damn movie. It was, oh yeah, everything just suddenly clicks now, man. So mm. I yeah, think if you're was, if your movie that you've created or TV show gets that's created is getting like memed um, and heavily parodied, it's usually a good sign that they've done something for pop culture. Like how many episodes of Family Guy did um that did they reference Star Wars and like you know what I mean? Oh, like dude. Hardcore. They've got a trilogy. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Like Blue Harvest. They got a trilogy like, of parodies. Yeah, yeah. 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 Love yeah. it. Yeah. So this question. Back when we did episode two of Visions on the eleventh of June twenty twenty two, I finish off all of these with one question. It's what are your three fire figures? And you yeah. just have to say I know you everyone hates this question, but it's like you know your house apartment's on fire you know hopefully this never happens to anyone but you, all your family and your pets and everything like that they're outside and everyone's safe and you've got time to safely grab three figures it's a ridiculous question i know it's a ridiculous question but at the time can, can, i have up in front of me i i, I rewatched the end of our stream to <clears throat> to uh identify which three fire figures that you uh you picked you're quite funny as well you're like where do you stand on vehicles i was like no no vehicles and you're like what about a two-pack just pick three figures mario it was really funny you're trying to break all the rules but um can you can you remember i have the three in front of me what you said can you remember what you said i remember for sure the godfather the 66 yeah, batman robin and, yeah um, yeah was the other one vader was it, it one of the man, you've nailed it yeah it was the vader right, specifically yeah. the one for the two-pack from the two-pack so, yeah would they be the exact same today, or has something maybe come into your collection that's bumped one of them? God, I, th I want to say it, it's it would be exactly the same, but I'm tempted to replace the Tarkin two pack Vader with this Kenobi Vader. I'm tempted. Okay. Yeah, I'm tempted. I, I kind of I, I got that <laughs> vibe when you were talking about it in another stream and when you mentioned yeah. it today. But uh, yeah, man, that's a. Uh, no, that, that that that's cool. I I like I like the way you remember them and you 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 um yeah. you said again. That, that's pretty cool. But uh, look, um, I'm we're gonna do you have something else. We're we're gonna uh, wrap it up there. I actually have to go. I'm, I'm going watching um Interstellar with uh with Megan. Uh, we Great. I recently, Ian, Agent Silver Fox is a massive, uh, 4K, uh HD Blu-ray fan, and I don't have a I didn't have a Blu-ray player up until just before Christmas, and he sent me a gift it was the dark knight trilogy box set blu-ray 4k Ultra hd and i was like that is the kindest thing ever and i was like this is this is awesome but i don't have a blu-ray player <laughs> so wow I, I was yeah i was given i was given um um a gift from my uh sister for my birthday christmas for like uh for like you know what uh, electro uh, a kind of a voucher you can use in loads of different stores and one of the big electronic store here uh, yeah. except them so i did all my research right like, so i need a blu-ray player to play specifically to 4k ultra hd and i went and i bought it and then i was like all right because i i stopped collecting dvds a long time ago and went down mm -hmm. to so apple tv and i was like yeah okay yeah. I, I was like, i'm gonna delve back into this so during the week um i bought a bunch of uh i started off with nolan's movies because a massive Nolan fan so and this website in Ireland was doing a kind of a two for one deal so I bought like all of Nolan's 4k um 
ultra hd so we watched what we watched last night watched dunkirk last night and i've only actually it's the only nolan, only nolan movie that i'd only seen once every other ones i've seen multiple times um but we're watching interstellar today i hadn't seen it in about two years so really looking forward to that as well so yeah, yeah sharp man right. the quality is sharp i gotta say hats off ian has uh started me off on a, a new dangerous path yeah collecting media is not that's that's another easy rabbit hole dude absolutely I'm yeah done for i did now. that too you know like, mm. yeah i'm <laughs> done for so i just want to say a massive thank you to you uh oh, thank for you man. your time here a second time a huge uh shout out to anyone who's watching live or on the replay and people in the chat and the mods and the channel members and the panel members and everything um do you want any you do profi chat on a monday night but does anything you want to plug or anything i got coming up or anything you're excited about or you, you want the the, the the people watching to know uh just yeah man if you want to hit me up i'm on facebook my name mario cortez hit me up there um instagram page uh you can find me there under el, el profesoro with all zeros uh the youtube channel that's that's there i mean i'm not i don't take myself too seriously with it so uh there's been a couple of times where i missed a monday night but uh you know life happens Same. you know so yeah. it, happens, it is what it is I and it. um lwo man that's where my heart is at you know to be honest <clears throat> i love i love streaming with the fellas dude so it's mm-hmm. always fun we did an episode last night on my channel and i know it's a little bit difficult trying to find some of us uh when we actually do lwo but but i feel that's um <clears throat> communication has improved with everybody else i want to people just tend to know where we're at you know mm-hmm. so we try to we try to plug as much as possible i think that's part of the fun the i'm like if i'm up i'm like all right okay all right we're, but usually if i if if i'm up at that city hour uh because obviously it's late for me I, I i can go subscriptions live and then i'll find it yeah but if i if it's the next day and i'm watching the replay it's like it's like a little treasure hunt okay check mario check marco <laughs> i check uh six gear reviews <clears throat> maybe christian brother but yeah uh, well, and, uh, yeah, usually find you. let me. Usually I'll find say you. this: if it makes it any easier, I do have a playlist on my channel that keeps, oh, that keeps right, all yeah, the episodes there. Yeah. It's all there, yeah. right? And I use I usually keep it up to date. So if you ever, so if you guys no ever want to find it, that we can go into yours. Is that right? Yeah, you can go to my channel, okay. and it'll go take you to every episode. There's a playlist there for every episode. Excellent. We just hit episode Excellent. eighty, man. Oh my God, it's crazy. Congrat- We're coming up on a hundred. That's amazing. We're coming up on hundred. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It just big hundred. That's gonna be. That's gonna. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna go that's for like ten hours. That's gonna be a show. That <laughs> is gonna, gonna be, be a wild show. That's gonna yeah, be so yeah, much yeah. fun, dude. That's gonna be crazy. I definitely have to watch that one. Oh uh, yeah, you not watch nothing. I'm gonna get you on the damn panel, dude. Yeah, you have to get your ass up at I three in the morning. I, I, I go to bed early. I get up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Set an alarm. <laughs> Mario, as usual, like you're an absolute gentleman. <clears throat> Love talking to you, and uh, you got a stunning it, looking collection behind Thank uh, you, man. behind you there, and uh, we. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I think it's only a matter of time before we meet up in person. Might even be this Absolutely. year or next year. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you to people in the chat. And uh yeah, we're we're out of here. So uh thanks a million folks and um see you again. <laughs>